Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, we're going to be talking about light jigging and micro jigging. And uh, a bit of a problem that I have just sold recently. And I'm going to show you the solution later, but let's talk about the problem first. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. This channel talks about the hows and whys of fishing. We cover everything from big game, ultralight, everything in the middle, including fly fishing. And today we're talking about a light jigging or a micro jigging combo that is actually pretty slick. All right, so if you look here, it has a jig weight range of 40 to 120. And you can find the rods, you can find spinning, you can find the uh, overhead versions of this. And when you're dealing with shallower water, the problem there is that if you have, so that's the water, okay, oops, let's actually zoom in better. There we go. So if this is your depth, and it's pretty shallow, let's say it's like 12 meters. I'm using this as an example because last Thursday I actually went out fishing and this is the depth that we were dealing with. Now, if you are fishing at that depth, your strike zone for bottom fish would be about 3 meters. Okay, so that's kind of like your strike zone. If you have a very fast reel, one or two cranks and you're already out of the strike zone. And even if you're casting diagonally and reeling it in, hopping it on the bottom, it's still not going to stay as long as, let's say, a slower speed reel. Now, when you're jigging, what happens is that if you're jigging fast, every time you reel and it takes line and brings the jig up to the surface, it'll go like this on a fast retrieve reel. Whereas on a slow retrieve reel, you actually have that motion, okay? So from the bottom all the way to the top, if you want to, you can do it with this. It'll just go up because it's reeling very fast. So it goes up really fast. And every time you pump or jerk your rod or jig the rod, what happens is that it'll give it that action, but immediately... The line, uh, the slack gets taken off by the uh, reel, and instead of having a zigzag motion, it'll have more of an S curved motion. Not to say that the fish won't take that. And uh, before this whole thing, I was using a, a fast reel and I still caught fish. But I was always in the hunt to look for a reel that would really give me less of a headache and something that, you know, kind of not really think about. So here's the thing, a lot of reels now have about 35 inches per turn. Okay, so what I'm looking, and that's the slowest that you could get from Shimano. Uh, most of the good reels that I was looking at actually had that. But what I'm looking for is actually under uh, 30. And the lower it goes, the better. So that's 30 inches per turn or about, I think it would be 73 centimeters if I'm not mistaken. Now, there are reels that I have found that actually give me uh, 60 something centimeters per turn. And if you want that reel, okay, if you're looking for something like that, uh, I'll, I'll give it to you later. But basically there is a need for a slow retrieve reel and there are the problem is you can find them in size 1000 for shimano and daiwa and these are the pgs 2000 you can find them no problem 4000 and that's one of the reels i actually use when i fish deeper water the problem is 2500 and 3000 
in this class, you cannot find a reel that's slow enough. And that's kind of the, the real size that I need for shallow water fishing. Let's say fishing in less than 50 meters. That's the perfect size right there, the perfect size range. But they don't have a PG. So I've been looking around and then I found one from Daiwa. And I made an unboxing video of this and I'm gonna show you that right now. If you are a regular follower of this channel, you would actually notice that this is kind of outside my comfort zone. But after looking for a little while, I found that this reel has exactly what I need and Shimano doesn't. I don't really have a preference when it comes to reels. I, I honestly believe that Daiwan Shimano are actually on top of their game for most of the fishing that people in this planet do so i actually have daiwa reels i just you know kind of don't really use them a lot or as much because i'm really not as familiar with the platform uh, or the brand now this is kind of unique because after looking through uh you know several reels i found what i needed in this reel and this is exactly what we're talking about today so Let's open this thing. Now, this is not necessarily an expensive reel. I got this for a little under 20,000 yen on Amazon. And uh, I'll, I'll share the link if you guys are interested. So this is kind of like their like lower mid-tier reel. Okay, so you have the reel and it's quite packaged quite nicely. Uh, well, at least it has plastic bags and whatnot so you have your instructions you have the real bag which is pretty cool because most don't have that and set that aside for now i don't know what this is but that's all in the box that's what's in the box at least all right so let us see exactly what this okay so we have your handle this is the uh, oh shims right you have to keep that and then pamphlet put that in and then you have your reel so this reel features a single piece monocoque body and this is actually not a steel bodied reel which was kind of a letdown because i know that the freums and the Chaldea had metal bodies before, but they call this the uh, Zion, all right? This is the Zion 5 body, which is essentially plastic, but there's carbon inside. Now, the thing with this was that when I looked around the, um, the internet, I found a guy who tested these reels and they didn't flex. So I was like, wow, cool. And then when I looked at the uh, promotion video for this, they actually used it for jigging, the bigger ones. So I was like, hey, I need something of that size and I need it for jigging. All right, so zeroed out the reel, empty, weighs under... 200 grams. That's quite amazing for a reel this size, actually. Very light. Quite sturdy. It's perfect. 2005 size. Although the uh, the spool is kind of shallow, which is fine. This is what I chose. Uh, it holds PE.8 200 meters, which means that for the line I'm going to put here, which is PE 0.6, it'll hold quite a bit. I could even go down to PE 0.4 if I wanted to, really. Now, there's a, a little bit of a problem when it comes to this reel. Uh, obviously, it's not designed for jigging. So one of the very first things I did was to actually look for an aftermarket handle. Because when I used this last Thursday, it actually kind of gave me problems.
What is this? No. Tiny, tiny. <laughs> That's a bit ambitious. <laughs> I didn't have the handle yet and obviously this small knob is very difficult to work with and this shank is a bit too short so this is what I've done uh, this way all right so I looked online and found a handle which we can compare here see Look at how, how long the handle is compared to that and it makes a world of difference. Now this reel has a composite body but actually doesn't flex because it has a lot of carbon in it. And for the drags that I'm going to be using it on, perfectly fine. So here you can see that it became very easy to reel. And obviously the, the grip is better. As you can see there and it, it won't be as slippery as this and what I will do with this is actually put it in my old Chaldea and it fits great so now it has a better looking handle but anyway um, the other reel that I found that fits the bill is actually a a cast king megatron and the ratio for that is actually okay the problem is the handle is too short and I can't really verify or find a handle that would be able to fit it okay um, I don't know about the drag so for me as far as the drag is concerned I have to change this but although this reel already have has 10 kilos of drag but it's felt uh, they have it has felt washer so I'm gonna change that there's two bearings that I need to change, one in the spool and one in the uh, the uh, shaft of this reel. And that's pretty much it. So I bought this reel for under $200. Not a bad price for something like this. I bought this for less than $30. And then those bearings and all that, I think I spent an extra 50 or so. So... If you're looking at this reel, it's actually a cheap cheap reel for something that I needed to do. Anyway, um, I've created this problem myself. I just didn't want to actually use a reel that's too fast. And if there are people out there that share the same issues or if you want to get into this and don't want to spend a lot of money, this is a very good solution. To the problem now also this reel is very light it is 195 grams without the handle this handle will increase the weight by a bit but not too much it's still very very light and as you can see there very very smooth so yeah for the money it's not bad I still need to use it a lot more and there's going going to be trips soon that I will take and use this exclusively but Perfect for 30 to 60 grams of fast jigging, light jigging. I would even use this on lighter rods for lighter jigs for that matter. So, you know, it's not just the 60 grams and above for me for this. 40 actually, about 40 to about uh, 80, I would use this, but... Uh, now I have a reel that would be able to serve me well for the purpose. All right, so guys, that's it for now. I just wanted to uh, to share this with you because it's kind of something that a lot of people are getting into. But anyway, if you have questions, leave it in the comments below. If not, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Class dismissed.